Hello, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Dark Souls Let's Play. Um, last episode we were able to defeat the Tauros Demon and then get past that dragon on the bridge. <clears throat> we're going to be making our way up into the Undead Parish now. Um, I did a little bit of off-screen stuff. I uh, enhanced my strength up to 18 because I want to get to my next weapon as soon as I can. Um, which is actually, I need 24 strength to wield, so... Hopefully we'll have that by the time we get to the boss here. Um, see we're under the bridge where the dragon is at you can actually shoot his tail with a bow and then cut it off and get the drake sword from it but I, I'm not a big fan of the drake sword you see it a lot in like pvp and stuff but meh not one of my favorite weapons I'm more of a fan of this Vihander now as you see uh, this can be a little precarious trying to maneuver around these ledges so we're just gonna try and Get this guy to come over here, or apparently not. We'll just run up and kick him. Oh, okay. And you can see when I, ooh, man, this could be bad. When I hit the ledge like that, or hit the the side of the wall, it not only takes a whole bunch of endurance, but it <clears throat> kind of staggers me a little bit. So, come here, come here. Gosh, you were the worst. Ah. I just want you to fall off. There we go. Wow, that was a lot more trouble than I needed. Okay, so these little rat dudes can uh, actually poison you, so... Yep, kind of like that. I'm doing all kinds of terrible right now. I think there's two more in here. So you just need to be, be cautious. Take out these guys real quick. Okay, now we'll proceed up here into the actual uh, undead parish. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, up this way is actually another black knight. Um, I'm not gonna go over there. Probably kill me. And then this is actually where the bonfire is under the dragon. Um, I didn't really want to risk going under that way, so we'll try and go this way. Um, this area can kind of suck if you don't know what you're doing. There's an enemy that's pretty tough up ahead, so... That boar is pretty strong um, because he's got all these buddies around him. So we're going to try and draw him out one by one by shooting arrows or completely missing. Okay. <clears throat> we got him. And there's those two guys up on top, which are going to shoot arrows at us. There's two more of these guys that are back behind the boar. And then there's also a spear guy that we can't see right now. He's hiding behind this wall over here. Like a jerk. So we're just going to have to take it slow, one at a time. And draw these guys out with aggro. I think if you uh, don't kill that guy back there fast enough, he actually closes a gate. And so I'm going to try and kill him just to make sure um because it's kind of a little bit roundabout eh i might as well go through that way though anyway it's good for getting souls and kind of showing off the area and that one will hit Let's see if he makes it last time he gets stuck on this stupid board yep he's gonna get stuck on the board perfect not what i needed right now buddy so yeah here's the spear guy i was talking about i'm just gonna Try and shoot him in the face, but that's obviously not gonna work. Run around him and backstab him. It's not gonna work either. It's a cute little dance we get going on here, dude. Oh my goodness. I am just fighting all kinds of sloppy right now. <clears throat> I can't wait to get my next weapon. It's gonna be so much better than what it is right now. So. I think what we're gonna do next is maybe try and shoot these guys off the ledge. Eh, that might be a bad idea. They might probably shoot at us. Might as well go for it then. Eh. Whoa, okay. Ow! Jerk. Are you still standing up there? Oh goodness. Okay, we're just we're just not gonna do this. This is a bad idea. I'm just trying to take out this boar next. Stop it. Are you serious? 
Go away. Still? 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 Are you kidding me? Are you done? Are you, are you good? Okay. It's very rude of you. So we'll shoot at this boar real quick. Um, what I like to do is, uh, try and run away from the. Oh gosh. That was just dumb. Um, you can try and get him into this fire. I kind of sucked at that. Or you can do a backstab on his butt, which I also missed. Great. So yeah, there's one tactic, is just get him into that fire. Kinda kills him. And there's the backstab that I wanted. Now I can just kinda hit him until he dies. Maybe. Or my controller is gonna be all kinds of unresponsive and I'm just gonna get hit. So he died in the fire, and I have an arrow through my head. Great. Did that guy go and shut the door? Or what? No, he did not. Perfect. So these guys kind of suck. I hate these arrow dudes. And it's so dumb that they put this stupid spear guy up here, because he's so impossible to kill. Can't get a backstab on him. It's crap. Stop it. Come on. There we go. That's the backstab I wanted. Okay. It's your turn, dude. I do not feel bad about that. <laughs> Get out of here. And there's that other guy. Can drop right on him. Completely miss. Stab him in the face. Sorry, dude. Good game, though. So... Normally this door is shut. I don't know what I do. Oh, hey. Sorry, dude. I left you up there. That was my bad. Aww. I don't even care about you, honestly. Come down here. Yes. Good choice. Okay. <clears throat> so normally the door's not open, and I'm gonna kind of show the route that is, uh, I guess, the, the route that you're supposed to take when it is closed. That guy's going to run away because there are actually two more guys on this side over here just waiting to flank you. These guys are relatively weak. Um, as long as you just kind of keep it cool and just go at them when you get an opening. Okay. Now there should be one guy way up on the right over there, yep, waiting to jump down on us. He thinks he's tricky. He's not. Those are my tactics, bro. My tactics aren't gonna work on me. Look at that. Thinks he's cool. Trying to do a plunging attack. You too! Look at you guys. Teach you through this wood pole. That doesn't make any sense. And our last little dude over here. Kill him. Okay. I think there's a couple more in this room, but they shouldn't be a problem. And, yeah, maybe not. Oh, nope, there are just two more. Oh, gonna get hit. And here you can walk across this uh, little beam to get an item. I think it's just a soul, but... Um, you know, Dark Souls is like, oh, Dark Souls is a game that is gives you a bunch of those ledges like that, like just to survive, you have to f cross a path that's really narrow and really hard to walk on. Uh, it's, it's torture. This game is torture. It's fun, but it's it is, it's torture. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, so I forgot to get that item. But I don't care. There should be one of these Balder Knights around this corner. Yep. Hey, hello. Who just leaves his back open to us? I think there's a ring in front of him. So we're gonna try and. Uh, nope. He's gonna see us. 
As long as we uh, keep her cool and just mash him when we get an opening. Um, what he's doing right there is uh, getting ready to parry. Oh, jeez. Trading blows is not good. I'm gonna juice up real quick. Nope, not gonna happen, dude. Not gonna happen. Going for backstab. I'm almost out of Estus, which is good because there's a, a bonfire coming up. Night shield. I'm actually not sure if that's better than my shield I have right now. I think it is. I guess it's not as good against fire and lightning, but... I won't get knocked around as much. Not mu like very much, but enough. And we'll make our way up here. Um, I think if, yep, right down there is that area I was in before where that gate is. So, Dark Souls is a game that has um, a bunch of different ways you can get through an area. There's also lots of little shortcuts and stuff for once you've completed an area that you can take. I need to stop talking while I'm fighting dudes because it's just going to mess me up. <laughs> Come here, attack me. Die, you jerk. Okay, juice it. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll get to the boss in this episode. Um, I might as well. It might be a longer episode, but definitely be worth it. And another one of these dudes. And there's a Balder Knight to my left who probably showed up. Yeah, he did. Great. I'm just going to leave this for you, dude. I'm going to kind of try and get this Balder guy to come in here. Hey, buddy. So I'm going to let him hit my shield. I'm going to dual wield. And just go to town on him. What he's using right there. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Dang. Uh, the Balder Side Sword. Um, it has a quite a big following. In, like PvP and I guess just in general. A lot of people like it. Goodness. I am doing all kinds of terrible. Yeah. Get away. My last Estus. Oh man. I think that's the last tough enemy we have to face right now. Well, maybe this guy. This guy's pretty tough. Looks pretty menacing. Sorry, dude. That's how it is. Don't you dare juice up. Uh, okay. Did I get that ring back there? Yeah, I think I did. I hope I did. I don't really care to go back. Okay. Mm so, there's three guys right there. I'm not even going to worry about them, actually. I'm just going to run to the bonfire. Just so I can get my next checkpoint set up. And that is really going to hurt. Holy crap. Run, buddy, run. Dude, he's following you. No! <laughs> that is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Um, But anyway, I guess this gives me a good chance to talk about dying. Yay. Um, what happens when you die is that it leaves a bloodstain, and then you're able to go back to that bloodstain um, and pick up all the souls and humanity that you drop once you die. So you lose all the stuff that you're holding for souls and humanity. See, I'm at zero and zero. But I can go back and pick them up as long as I get them in this next life. If I die again, then it makes a new bloodstain, and I'm kind of screwed. That's kind of lost. So hopefully I can get back there. We'll see. I'll probably take the shortcut this time. Ooh, should I? Ooh, I don't know. This may prove a little troublesome, though. Hmm. Let's try and get this guy first. My sword is so weak. That's why I really want my new weapon by the time I fight the bosses. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> so I lost all those other souls before. And now I just gotta kind of fight my way back to where I was. Just kind of wasted a whole bunch of time right now. <laughs> Which is not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Let's see, how long has this video been, video been going on? May 
have to just like restart it. <clears throat> well, I killed the boar. That's good, I guess. I'll try and get back there. I, this sword is just so weak. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, see, there's a, an example of my blood stain. I'm gonna have to go for backstabs, I guess. I can pick up all those souls that I lost. Yeah, all eighty of them. Good deal. I'm just gonna keep kicking this guy. I don't even care. Get out of my way. Okay. Now the rats. Okay. Keep going. Alrighty, one rat down, two more to go. Where you at? Man, I am all kinds of sucking right now. I apologize. I doubt I'm gonna make it to the bonfire before I like die of poison. This is terrible. I'm just doing all kinds of suck. Again, I apologize for being in this bed right now. Okay, kill that guy. No big deal. Try and kill this spear guy around the corner here. I kind of have to rush this now. That's not going to work. There we go again. Yay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I guess I'm going to just go ahead and uh, do a couple runs through on my own without doing like an audio voiceover and then just hopefully uh, edit it until I get through it. So. See you at the bonfire. Alrighty, so I'm back from uh, doing all that good stuff, getting back to this bonfire, and um, you'll notice that I actually uh, have a new sword equipped. This is my Zyhonder. I went ahead and took a little break and then did some leveling up and getting some souls and whatnot. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Um, so yeah, this is pretty much going to be my new weapon for the rest of the game, but I do need to uh, change my equipment because my equipment load is over 50%. 50 um, I want it to be under that so I can have a faster roll. So, let's just take all this off real quick. I don't think I have another body chest armor, so I think I'm just going to go shirtless. See what's better. Baller gauntlets? Okay. Uh, he might just have a pants and a gloves. Let's see. Uh, pants, gloves, should I do? Ooh, I guess I could do these pants. These gloves, and then we'll... We'll go ahead and wear the night helmet. Oh gosh. I look stupid. How much more defense did that give me? 
Uh, I think I might as well just wear all this stuff anyway. Oh. Meh. We can worry about all that roll stuff later. I'll just put on the whole night set armor. It's no big deal, I guess. Oh, jeez, that is really slow. Oh, well, we should be fine. <clears throat> I say that now, and then I'm gonna be, like, screwed in a second. Um, so down here is the blacksmith, Andre Vastora. Well, and... I guess I kind of interrupted him, but uh, we can actually uh, we can actually uh, make our weapons stronger, make our armor stronger, which I think I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna kind of boost up my Zoyhonda really quick. I've uh, got a few Titanite shards while I was farming souls, so I guess we can only get to plus one at the moment, but we can come back after I get some some more souls and use up the rest of those shards. Get it to a plus three, I think. Should be pretty good. Should be doing some big damage now. This thing hits like a freight truck, especially when you uh, rank it up. So, right now we're going to go back into the Undead Parish and kind of finish up business in this church area. Um, I can go through this way, straight ahead of me, but I think I'm going to go back around. It's a little bit easier of a way to get through the area. Um, let's see, we got to kill these guys first. Get the pivot backstab. Pretty sweet. And that's a likely dude. So as you can see, I'm doing a fair bit of damage. Just knocking these guys out in one hit. And this is a weapon I'm really used to playing with, so hopefully I'll do a little bit better. Um, that other broadsword, I was just oh, sucking up hardcore, so... I think we're on track now to... Getting this let's play on the roll. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. No, it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I really like it. Um, it's got a really heavy swing attack, and then it just knocks down most enemies. So you wait until you have an opening, and then you can pretty much stun lock your opponent. Eh. That was pretty bad. Oh, goodness. Get away. Get away. Heal up. Now you're dead. You dummy. Give me that tight knight. Okay. So now we're pretty much where we uh, left off before I died that last time, which was so stupid of me. I had rushed it and that's what happens. Dark Souls. Story of my life. So we got three more of these guys to take care of. Um, Smash him into the ground, he won't take long to kill. Uh, there's this guy, uh, I want to bring him out with my bow because the other, the other guy's around the corner, and if we walk in there, he'll probably aggro us, us and Lava, as well as this guy. So, don't really want to do that. So I just kind of drag these guys out here, and then just take them out one by one. Makes it a lot easier. And here's this guy with the, the rapier thing. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Heal up, dude. Or we'll just get hit in the face. No big deal. I think I'm gonna heal right here anyway. Um, <clears throat> okay. Down there is this big tower knight. And he's guarding another firekeeper soul. So we can upgrade our Estus Flasks after we kill this dude. But I don't want to fight him in here. So I'm going to drag him out like this other guy. And the reason being for that is that there's a, a channeler who shoots like magic soul arrows down at you while you're trying to fight this guy, which is really annoying. So this guy shouldn't be too hard. You just wait for him to attack, get out of the way, and then pretty much just beat the crap out of him. I got really carried away with that one and want to get a hit in. Oh jeez. That's gonna hurt. Alright, so we're both gonna S this up. Great. I really hate having no stamina recovery though. This is terrible. I mean, that kind of stunned him, which is nice. Kill him? Okay. 
I took a fair bit of damage, but I can survive this. So now all we have... Ooh, give me that Titanite shard. Um, so now all we have to get rid of right now is the channeler. Um, that guy's not going to respawn, so it's not going to be a problem ever again. But we do have to kill this channeler, too. He doesn't respawn, either. Um, you can see him up there. Ah, oh, jeez, don't... I'll shoot those magic soul arrows at you. So I guess... Uh, the way I've always been taking them out is just run up to here and then pull out your bow and then this is pretty much the only time I use the bow to kill somebody. Okay. So, just kind of aim at his head right here. The aiming for this game is kind of kind of messed up. And you can pretty much stun lock him with this, so he's going to go down pretty quick. Doesn't even get a chance to shoot back. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cheesy way to deal with this guy, but it's it's effective. And a couple more shots should do it. I think two more, hopefully. Yep, and dead. I don't think he really drops anything. <laughs> His body's just gonna fall down here. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess we might as well grab this ember real quick. Oh, poor dead dude. Um, and then we can make our way upstairs. There's a NPC we can rescue, and he can actually be summoned for the boss fight, so we'll probably go and do that. This guy's gonna be a jerk, no problem. Once they're on the ground, they're no they're no big deal, because I can just hit them with another huge swing. Um, coming up is another kind of a a little bit of a trap area. You see there's a few of those undead dudes over there. You can see three of them over there. Um, there's probably about seven or eight. They come out of everywhere. I can one-hit them, though, so that's going to be pretty helpful. If I can all get them lined up, then pretty much gravy in the navy. But kind of like that. You can just take out two or three at a time. That guy snuck by me somehow. So yeah, um, just kind of keep moving back and then take him out when you can. I think there was just this one guy. Alrighty, what'd you drop here? Broken straight sword. Meh. Pretty useless. So the boss fight is actually just up those stairs and then up a couple ladders and. Um, I'm gonna actually go back to a bonfire before I do that. I'm running into barrels for no reason. Uh, and then we'll come up here and we'll rescue this dude. After we fight this Balder Knight, of course. These guys are obnoxious. And you're dead. Sorry, dude. Ooh, another Titan Knight Shard. They're not too expensive to buy. I think they're only like 800 souls, but... Yeah, not bad. I'll take it. So if you go ahead and bust down this wall and make your way up here, you'll find Lotrek of Karim. So I guess we'll help this guy out. Okay, so this dude's pretty weird. Um, pretty useless. His story's like okay. <laughs> um, he does some weird stuff. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go back to the bonfire in Firelink Shrine by taking a shortcut. And then rest there, hopefully, uh, return back to Hollow. Or, uh, reverse Hollow, come back to Human. And then go ahead and fight the boss. And like I said before, once you're human, you can pretty much summon dudes to help you. And we'll summon Solaire and Lawtrek, and this boat shouldn't be too bad. So.
So here we are on the elevator that goes back to Firelink Shrine. There is actually a secret. You can go back to the Undead Burg. Or not Undead Burg. Undead Asylum. If you jump off there. We will be going back there eventually, but not right now. And as you can see, I'm back in Firelink Shrine. Petrus, so. And I'm gonna go rest of the bonfire real quick. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Reverse hollowing. Offer up humanity, and then as you can see, I will change back to human. <laughs> Looks a lot better than our little, like, Darth Sidious version of ourselves. Sup, dude. So, anyway, we'll head up, head back now. Um, we're gonna have to fight all those undead dudes again, but it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully I won't, like, die or anything. Actually, hmm. I wish I had some different armor. <laughs> or just some, like, lighter armor. I guess I could equip this. And how, what does that get me at? 25.9. How about this? Dang it. Do I have any, like, lighter shields? Does this do 100%? Ah, Does this do 100% physical? 93% physical. I don't like that. Hmm. Physical defense, 91. How about if we do all this again, <laughs> like we did before? 85. 91 to 85. I guess I'm fine with this, just for a faster roll. It's kind of important to me. So I will take this uh, lift back up. Check out my dude's hairy chest. It's weird. Man, you got a good outfit going on. Look at this, like, skirt and, you know, your little helmet. Some kind of... Dude, I wouldn't be scared of this dude. If I was some demon undead guy and I saw this guy running at me, I would get the crap out of there. So, let's go back up here. And beat the crap out of this guy again. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Just smash him in the face a couple times. Um, the reason I went back to Firelink Shrine, though, was so I could have ten Estus Flasks instead of five. I could have went to that other one and then, like, rekindled it. Eh, I probably would have been smart, but oh well. What's done is done. Okay, so I'm gonna get hit by that. Which kinda sucks, but what can you do? Don't kick, you idiot. I only hit one of you? You guys suck. Okay, last guy. I must have got another humanity. Oh, not last guy. Not good. Get out of my way. So I must have picked up a humanity when killing these guys. Tends to happen fairly often. Okay. Hmm. Now, where is the summon sign? Did I forget to talk to Lotrek? I feel like I did. Am I crazy, or where is it supposed to be at? Hmm. I know you can summon him for it, I just don't remember where it's at. Hmm. I thought it was in here. Might be crazy. Maybe it's up here. <laughs> we'll try that. If not, I'll probably have to go to Firelink Shrine again. <laughs> Dang. A waste of a trip. Oh well. Is it, up, is it up here? I don't even remember. Is Lotric still in here? Because if he's in here, then we're kind of screwed. He has to go back to... Oh, Lotric, you suck. Talk to him real quick. Speak. Speak. Okay. Or don't speak. You know it. Whatever. Okay. So this video is gonna turn out to be a little bit longer than I uh, wanted it to. Dark spirit. Ah. 
Not cool, dude. Not cool. Nice wood grain ring, dude. Okay. So I'm just gonna go up here then. Lols. Um, you can actually challenge the boss, and then the Dark Spirit will get kicked from your world pretty much. So I'm gonna try and summon Soleil real quick. And then we're gonna book it out of here. I mean, Solaire. I can't believe that guy didn't like see me or anything. Huh. Okay, so we're just gonna run to the boss. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so the boss here are these bell gargoyles. Those dudes up there. Let's do a bros. Um, and yes, you did hear me right, I did say gargoyles. There is two of them. Um, once you kill, like, the first one halfway, the other one spawns. So. Yeah. So, you can see, this thing does a fair bit of damage. Um, pretty much knocking this guy over, which is awesome. Should make this fight really easy. Now I'm gonna focus on this other guy real quick, because he likes to breathe a lot of fire. Throw the battle. Um, so, I'm just going to try and hit him as much as I can. Just pretty much get behind him, and then smash him as much as you can. I can't really see what that's stupid. Okay, there we go. And that guy's going to go down. Now we can go focus on the first one again. This fight's not too bad. Um, as long as you manage where they are they go down fairly fast um, I actually think they are weak to like lightning too so and good news I picked up the helmet that they dropped and because Solaire was with me he gives me a sunlight medal and I don't know about the twin humanities I think he just dropped sunlight medal for beating a a boss with him I'm um, actually I think I'm gonna equip this this gargoyle helmet it's pretty good let's see poise stays the same does it have lower weight? Yes. Okay. Well, this could be good, actually. I might be able to... No, not quite. Alright. Anyway, or maybe one of these. Can I wear one of these yet? No. But I can put my bow back on. <laughs> I, that, that does mean a lot to me, actually. Okay. So, shirtless dude. Rocking it with the big Zweihander. So yeah, not too bad of a boss fight. Um, I'd say boss fights aren't too bad, it's just getting to boss fights without dying is the worst. And we'll come up here, ring the first bell of awakening, and we will pretty much be done with the Undead Parish. Um, we'll come back here time a couple times, uh, talk to Andre, and there's also some other areas past this place, but kind of pull this lever, do a little cutscene, and then we'll just end it right there. I'll probably go back to Fire Link Shrine uh, between here and the next video, and we'll just meet up there. So thanks for watching, and here's the cutscene.